So welcome to the session. How are you? Good morning. Yeah, very good morning, ma'am. Thanks for asking. I'm pretty well. And what about you? I'm also fit as a fiddle. Thank you so much for asking me too. May I know about the voice and the, the yeah, like, am I audible properly? Is there any background noise? Yeah, you are audible. No, no, you are audible properly. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So I would like to, before start our conversation, and I would like to share my own feelings for you. Mm -hmm. So I really relish you and uh, I really like your speaking way and way of, way of clothing, way of speaking way and body language. Mm -hmm. I like love, I like very much. And uh, you know, I used to watch video before some months, Mansi Bola ma'am. But since then, I watched your video, so I really fan of yours, and I follow from that day. And I I listen your video each and every day. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and Thank I would like to uh, share taking things for especially for audience. You know, ma'am, there are so many women really want to learn English but they don't have time they mm -hmm. as like a, I'm, I am a homemaker so that like they are also homemakers so that's why they don't have time but they eager to know about English they eager to speak out but they don't have time so I would like to suggest that type of women if they really want to speak English so I would advise them you have to listen if you don't have time, so as like I am listen while cooking, while doing my home chores, so they can also do that thing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Thank you so much first for watching my videos, for uh, supporting me. And I am glad that my videos are helping you in some way. And you enjoy the yeah. way I speak. You enjoy everything, which means a lot to me. Second, it's great that you shared uh, a piece of advice, especially for women, and you try to motivate them that if they really want to enhance their communication skills, they if and again, at the same time, if they don't have much time, free time, they can yeah. just start by watching some videos, consuming some content. Yes, I also believe yeah. in that, that first you need to be in that in touch with the language like whatever you do whether you get time or not while commuting while doing other household chores you can just listen to something which will uh, you know make you aware of some uh, daily use vocabulary the patterns will be get registered in your mind so in future anytime if you get a chance you will be able to use them right so unknowingly if you are just continuously listening to something that helps a lot and if you are doing this uh, for a long period of time, that's great that you are very consistent, at least with this listening practice. I'm glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yes. Okay. So since we are meeting for the very first time, so first I would definitely love to know about yourself. Yeah, sure. Ma I am Suman and uh, I'm from Delhi. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically I'm from Punjab, but I got married in Delhi. Okay. So I live in a Delhi. Yeah. If I talk about my qualification, I have done graduation. And apart from that, I have done NTT diploma from Punjab University. And right now I'm pursuing master's in English. And uh, along with them, I teach students at my home uh, as like a coaching. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's all about me. And if I talk about my hobby, Hmm. So I love to listening English content, especially for you. Oh my God, that's your hobby. Watching my YouTube channel is your yeah. hobby. Oh my God. Yeah. Great. Today, nowadays become a hobby. But since then I watched your video. Mm -hmm. So nowadays. Nowadays, my okay. Hobby. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And uh huh. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Before that, uh, as like when I free. So I I usually scroll my phone, but when since when I started watching English content and try to speak and try to interact with the people. So from that day I skip everything. So this is mm -hmm. very beneficial for me. 
it's it's really amazing that you have taken this initiative and you are prioritizing your tasks now because you are actually aspiring to become a proficient or good speaker of this language and that is why you are making it a priority so whenever you get a free time you just try to listen to something right in english yeah. uh, do you connect to people yeah. like do you do the speaking practice too yeah ma'am uh, before 15 day days i created my youtube channel because okay. of my uh, speaking enhancing i want to enhance my communication that's why mm -hmm. so when from uh, i created my channel so i'm very consistency and uh, before that sometime i interact with the people and sometime i don't but uh, when from i started my channel so i continue okay great so it means uh, how many days of the week you connect to people like every day or thrice a day uh, thrice a week actually uh, before 15 days i connect sometime thrice a day sometime to, uh, every day sometime twice day because it's a depend on a time okay so you teach now students what do you teach i teach all subject from first to fifth First to fifth at your home. Okay. Yeah. And you are and, doing uh, some of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go on. Some of students as like a uh, beginner, they don't know how to put the question. They don't know uh, how to translate. So I some of the students they come specially for me to learn grammar. They come to me. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's lovely. And you enjoy teaching. Yeah, I love teaching. Mm, I great. enjoyed a lot. Yeah, mm, you enjoy a lot. Okay, enjoy yeah. is past. You are not talking about the past. You are talking about the present. So I enjoy a lot. Yeah, I enjoy teaching. Yeah, I enjoy. Yeah, I enjoy. Okay, okay, okay. So, is there any topic or anything in your mind would uh, that you would like to discuss with me? Yeah, I have a one question for you. Mm -hmm. According to your perception, uh, what is the importance of watch? Watch? <laughs> yeah. I don't have any watch. I don't wear. Yes, I want to have one uh, for sure. But importance of watch. Mm, it tells you the time only. What else? It tells you the time yeah, only. Watch. I think. time and whenever like uh, whenever we need to wake up early in the morning yeah the smart we... watch okay you're talking about the yeah. smart watch now like we get all the features in the watch that helps in everything like maintaining yeah. the routine and that reminds us that gives the reminders okay uh, uh, like as per the routine like when do you when you need to wake up when you need to do the drink water yeah people use for it that to like If they have to drink water like thrice yeah. an hour, then they fix that. Mm. I haven't used yeah. it particularly, but yeah, smartwatch helps in many ways, in various ways. Yeah. It uh... as we can, mm -hmm. yeah, as yeah. like we are, as like we are, uh, like uh, moving in a like a traveling in a gathering area. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So without pull the phone, we can watch. Mm -hmm. so this is a very beneficial for us yeah true yeah mm -hmm. and uh, yeah uh, we can say normal watch also help me to get the alarm mm -hmm. i don't have yet yeah. and even the a, normal one also... the no i don't have but i would love to have in future yes i like watches but yet i don't have okay and i think uh, for kids also very crucial as like if kids pick the phone to watch the time so mm -hmm. maybe they connect with the phone but mm -hmm. if we have watch so this is a distract from the phone see it is about mindset if you are mind is in control like if you are able to control your mind and you are thinking that for one hour i am not going to touch my phone and i'm i'm going to study or i'm going to do something which is useful for me then you can put aside your mobile phone like from your mindset you can do it yeah ma'am otherwise totally, uh, right? 
whether you have the watch or not you will just yeah go on yeah ma'am you go <laughs> no 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 you can complete okay. it yeah yeah we can control our mind but according to my perception kids sometime kids are not control their mind nobody nobody controls and i i think we should not control kids we should you know what i have observed i have a niece at home <clears throat> she lives with us i have observed if yeah, we I do video your niece yeah if we use mobile phones she will also use mobile phones if we put aside she also puts aside if we play she plays with us if we eat we eat uh, she eats with us and if we sleep we she sleeps with us like everything i kids i guess do whatever the elders are doing already so i think if elders are yeah. putting aside their mobile phone if they are not watching like you know if elders are watching their mobile phone watching videos what watching reels reels and at the same time they are asking their kids that do not watch their phone doesn't make yeah, any sense to their mind yeah. they will like why are you watching like their mind says this to them and with they think in their mind like why are you watching then so it's not right to just control them just teach them with your actions with your own behavior which is i guess essential and that helps yeah you are absolutely right hmm. thank you okay what else uh, but so but I, tell me uh, why i feel mm hmm mm hmm yeah yeah go yes ma'am yeah uh, i listen so many video you said to uh, like uh, i prepare to year banking job right for mm. two years yeah. so when did you think about i should operate the channel i should uh, work on that uh earlier i was here at home for two years during pandemic and i was lost totally I was a bit in depression too nobody knows that in my family like nobody realized that okay what i was going through but then like i myself was the only person who helped me like i started writing i started watching podcast i got to know about the spirituality about the, a lot of things during pandemic and because of you know pandemic everything was shut down so there was a lot of issues in my home like related to finance and at the same time i was preparing and everybody was expecting to get a job at the earliest but i was not able to because that was not my cup of tea and i was helpless totally like what should i do in this case like my father is a tailor so he was not able to do that much and the like work was not going on so we suffered a lot we faced a lot of difficulties at that time and i was in depression because of that that i am not able to do anything and it was not like everybody was expecting me to get a job but i was not enjoying to study for banking at all and i knew like i am not for this i have something else in my mind i have something else that i can do beautifully like what i am doing right now this is what i enjoy doing so i thought to go to jaipur and i asked my father that i'll get a private job there and i'll do it because i we didn't have any other option then and i said i'll keep preparing for banking and i'll do a private job there and he agreed so i went there i joined for a few days i guess i guess three or four <laughs> days only i was not able to do it at all because i cannot work under pressure no that is why i decided to just work on my skills so i can be independent from every aspect like financially and i don't want to work under any others uh, like pressure or others rules no i want to create uh, make my own rules i want to create my own workspace i want to have my freedom like financially time everything so then i thought to work on my communication skills and when i started learning the language i thought to share my journey on youtube itself because i was at that time i was also learning the language from youtube itself and i watched a lot of clappingo videos and english nari videos then i joined clappingo first because at that time these things were not happening like people were not connecting to each other even no one was aware of the skype and all these nobody was recording the videos okay. we had only okay. one option which was clapping or camly yeah but camly was again very expensive when it started that time no skype and available 
yes it was available but we were not aware of it okay okay yeah okay. so we only knew that okay we can and i i was not good at english so i i was not i think that much comfortable to connect with anyone but yeah i started with clapping or tutors first they helped me they like i took some practice sessions there and gradually then i started posting those videos and i didn't think much of it but i was thinking to become very good at english and then later do something in that field but luckily my youtube did well so that is why i'm just doing it okay that's a great yeah so, uh, now how does feeling your parents about you they are happy glad yes. proud yeah like they are always okay. proud of me because i am that resilient personality who doesn't give up i i does i don't give up i did my graduation in korean i quit my masters and they know that they already knew that she will do something one or other she is not that who just stay ideally and waste time no because i kept reading i kept studying i was like i'll do something main nikal hi lungi kuch to like whatever it is but i'll do something that was in my myself always the fire was always there first because i'm from navodaya second because i'm from jnu and being a jnu student is not for us that we can quit and we can give up so my that is why my father agreed to uh, send me to jaipur jharkhand wherever you want to go and do whatever you want to do and that is the i guess privilege that my parents always believe in me and they are happy and satisfied now that i am able to do it yeah they feel proud of me okay that's okay yeah hmm. so do you have sister or yeah only one no no we are four siblings i have a younger brother two elder uh, a younger brother a younger sister and an elder sister too she is married and uh, we three are unmarried working or studying okay yeah that's it okay. we are also four <laughs> mm and which one yeah. of you first second third i am elder i am elder one eldest one the eldest yeah one. eldest Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm. And how many Thanks. sisters and brothers you have? I have three sisters and one brother. Okay, including you, you are three sisters and one brother. You have. Oh, so including me, I am four. Oh, you are four sisters. <laughs> It means you are five siblings. Yeah, we are mm. five. Okay, and the brother is the youngest one. Yeah, he is youngest. Mm, my brother is also the youngest one. It's great to have a younger brother. <laughs> yeah, that's why we are four now because of uh, mm. he's younger. Mm, got it. Yeah, yeah. happens. Hmm. So how's the bond? Uh, like what? What? What kind of relation you have with your brother when it comes to sharing your personal things, like things which you cannot share with other family members, but with your brother? Yeah, if I talk about my bonding with my brother, it's a very amazing, and wow. uh, he is always stand by me. And uh, but whenever I stuck, and everywhere I stuck, so I always call him, and, and he solve my problem. He solves so he, my he problem. A, yeah, he solves my problem, and uh, really he is a very great personality for, especially for me. <laughs> because uh, wow. uh, his education is also good uh, now he completed uh, uh, his, now he completed btech so mm. he has a higher yeah, in uh, chandigarh university mm -hmm. so <laughs> that's why he has a very good experience i mm. think every field whatever i need so i understand can ask mm. yeah great yes same my brother has great understanding for everyone and yeah the things which i cannot share with others i can share truly freely with my brother that's a perfect bond yeah, it's same. yeah and i'm it's same. i feel i am really lucky to have a family like this like i am from a village so in villages i have seen even in uh 
yeah in city also people don't have that kind of mindset who can perceive their kids different thoughts who can perceive their kids different choices but in my family we are living in a typical village where people have a different kind of mindset but, but now, still i am I, lucky when i, hmm. when I listen you are from village so i can't believe because your person your personality don't look like you live in a village and mm-hmm. even personality even so like a way of speaking way of clothing sense i can't be yeah nobody believes when i went to navodaya like in school in 6th standard 6th to 12th standard i completed there in navodaya itself and nobody believed ever that i am from i am from a village they were like she is from a city and when i went to yeah. college to they all were like you are from a city like they didn't believe whenever i said that i am from a village a typical village <laughs> they still don't believe and i don't know why people don't believe that but i am from a village very typical village our home is still like how it is in villages so it's true <laughs> yeah i don't know why people don't believe but it's true <laughs> but uh, one of video i listen you uh, now you live in a jaipur No, I was there and I shifted to home in March this year. Okay. Now yeah. you are in the village. Yes, now I am at my home. Okay. Yeah. So how long have you been uh, like uh, operating your channel? I started in August 2022. So since then I am working on it. So it's been 2 years now. Okay. Hmm. okay when did you start so after two years hmm. i started uh before 15 days hmm. it's been only 15 yeah. days okay yeah. but i connect uh, on joe's scheme uh from november but i am hmm. not regular on this application hmm. whenever I, uh, because being a housewife i live in a joint family hmm. and i am also blessed uh one kid of mother so that's why i don't have much spare time to hmm. spend on my activity okay yeah because i have also responsibility uh, to my ki- for my kids look after your kids mm yeah great how old is he he is 7 years old she he 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 is 7 7 months or 7 hmm. years Seven years. So when did you get married? I got married two thousand fifteen. Two thousand fifteen. How old are you? Now I am thirty. Actually, I got married twenty two. Okay. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Scariest thing whenever I think about marriage and all. <clears throat> It scares me a lot. <laughs> literally it scares me a lot and my parents are saying that in next 2 years you have to get married and i'm like <clears throat> okay. i have to get ready so mentally like to ask you hmm. why do you scared yeah why do you scared <laughs> oh these days it's you know i think i'm a bit different and i when i think to yeah, be it's, with somebody it's different me it's a not a bit different. it's a totally different <laughs> yeah some way or my way of thinking my way of perceiving things and when i think about somebody to be with somebody when i and then i am little scared of like how he would perceive the things and how he would react on and about the understanding about like i am very particular about my personal time things I want like my family accepted me like this. Like okay, I want my things, my workspace, my time. So they are very comfortable with everything, whatever I do. <clears throat> I don't know about that person how he would react or how he would support me or not. He would. Don't how he would see like, like a lot of thoughts are there which scares me. And nowadays I have heard about many people if that is not. like compatible if the partner is not compatible if you if you both have don't understand both don't have the understanding then the marriage doesn't work well like yeah. i have heard about many many cases even in my family itself like many people 
who are very good at their in their own fields but when it comes to be together and work on the same thing again then there are a lot of misunderstandings there are a lot of like that person wants the things according to himself and the girl wants the things according to herself and then in-laws come in between then things get worse and worse and then they end up having the like taking the divorce like these things happened in my family itself so when i see them when I hear their stories, then it scares me a lot. And even one of my seniors, like one or two of my seniors got married. And within six months, they got divorced. And I was like, so scary. <laughs> I don't know. But so, don't, don't need to scare because, you know, it's not that happened to it, uh, with everyone. Yeah. So I, I know, according but... to my perception, don't need to scare. And uh, after marriage, there are so many challenges challenges come to our life. But we can slowly and gracefully, we can manage. That's why you messages me. Uh, you give me time I, around 9 o'clock. That's why I, did, I, I joined 10 o'clock because of, I also live in a joint family. So firstly, if you live in a joint family, so firstly, you look your home then you can do whatever you do i have my own ideas and things in my mind like i will like compromise a bit like but i want a person who is a little compatible to me like who is not if not much 70 percent things should be little similar 30 percent i know we cannot get a person who is 100 percent just like you <laughs> But a person who is independent or I don't want a person who works in or has a government job. I don't have that kind of mentality. A person who is independent has his own work. Um, because the person who is independent and working on their own can understand the value of time, can understand their point of view, the perception. Yeah, it can be because he has the different mindset, I think, according to me. Then the people who are in government job which is i which is like my way of thinking that yeah there is a difference so let's see what will happen but yeah i have given the consent to my parents that okay find a groom <laughs> i'll then i'll think about it always be positive then everything yeah. is okay hope so <laughs> hope so yes Ultimately, we have to do it, right? So, um, yeah. <clears throat> See, in future, I will definitely love to expand my thing or maybe I would love to join some or maybe in future if I... Right now, I'm, I'm thinking that I want to work independently. Later, maybe after two to three years, I think, okay, I want to join a company. I want to go somewhere. I want to join a particular team or particular... I want to work with somebody. So I want the person who understands my point of view. Like, if I'm fed up of working from here, I would definitely love to go and work from somewhere else too. So that freedom should be there. Like, this is my right to work. Right? If... Yeah. male have their own right to work wherever they want we also have the right so i want that kind of person yeah, yeah. Really right. hmm. why i always stay at home it's if i am not enjoying anymore like if men don't enjoy to work somewhere in a particular company or with somebody they quit and they go somewhere else right they have the right so everybody like think as per individual's perception, like we are also human beings, not like a girl or boy. Everybody has the same rights. So that is what I think person should have that. Let's see. That is why it is the scariest thing for me to think about marriage and all. It is actually. I don't know why it is for me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, anything else but, that you want uh... to discuss? Hmm. Yeah, I have one more question. Uh, as your journey uh, before started before two years, then so after two years, where would you like to see on yourself? Great question, and there are a lot of things in my mind. First, I would definitely love to be a successful YouTuber, and second, I want to be a personality development trainer, offline too. I want my own center where I am just giving 
not only related to english communication skills but i am helping i want to help others to groom their personality too so that is what i see myself of doing after two years and yeah as i mentioned after two years maybe i'll get married so that is the again issue that i don't know what will happen <laughs> that is why this is curious hmm so can't say much clearly but these are the plans i want a person who respect my plans too that is why i'm thinking too much about it mm -hmm. yeah i have disclosed a lot of things about myself what i am thinking <laughs> okay no problem yeah okay anything else that you want to discuss <clears throat> no ma'am no uh, okay like, no i don't okay great okay then we can wind this session up right here it's already 10 37 yeah it was lovely talking thank to you. you thank you so much for connecting to me and thank you so much for sharing whatever you felt about me and about my channel and i hope it helps you a lot yeah yeah i also enjoyed a lot talking with you yeah same here